chain link triple bottom reversal welcome back guys it's crypto rocko from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys we'll be looking at this triple bottom pattern and potentially chain link putting in a bottom and starting the move up we have seen this triple bottom pattern few times in Chainlink. We roughly saw it in October 2020 and we more clearly saw it late 2019 when we formed a really nice triple bottom and we had that big move up. If you go watch the videos in 2019, I bought this dip. This was one of the best entries. If you go watch the video, I shared exactly the buy zone. In this video as well, I'll share with you exactly the buy zones where I'm looking to buy, sell, targets. And in the Rockstar Trading Group, guys, I can share exactly when I'm getting getting in my targets my trade setups if you are interested in the rockstar trading group i'll leave the links below there's lots of trade setups you know cardano chain link people are looking to short them now but you should be shorting them beforehand because they're at support now don't be you know jumping in late shorts you need to short earlier you know like cardano when it was breaking 130 140 don't jump in you know shorts too late so i see lots of youtubers talking about you know selling a link now chain link is at support if it breaks this zone yes you can look to short it short time frame but you know don't be so don't try and be a hero and short it at support that that's not going to work out well for you so guys uh, let's look at chain link from a high time frame there's lots of messy uh, 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 trading analysis on here so let's get a clean chart and look at what's happening so Chainlink guys it had a triple bottom pattern and if you ask me which triple bottom pattern I like I'd have to say this is my favorite and the reason why it's my favorite is because it was a sharp sell off very big sell off when we see sell offs like this people get scared this was the big dump in March people get scared and sell and go away and unfortunately you know this sell off wasn't as aggressive and then and the sell off that we're seeing now it's not really as aggressive as we saw I mean you can see the percentage dips they are similar to how chain link bottoms but the sell-offs now isn't as aggressive like we saw in March so that makes me think that you know potentially we are a bit more bearish than previously so we have to be cautious so if you ask me what what's the percentage of this reversing from here I would say it's probably in a 30-40% chance it reverses from here. Uh, if you watch the videos, I said about 60-70% chance it reverses from there. What will give me more confidence that this is reversing? If it starts trend changing, you know, starts trend changing above 17 and breaks above, you know, 20, this is the daily resistance. Then I'll say, you know, 60-70% chance that Chainlink has bottomed out and let's start the pump to $100 or an even lot higher. I'm massively bullish on Chainlink. There's lots of people saying Rocco is bearish on Chainlink. I've been buying Chainlink since 2018. I think I was one of the first people to make a video on Chainlink. So, you know, I, I hold some Chainlink from less than a dollar. So don't say that I'm bearish on Chainlink. I'm just sharing with you what's on the charts. I look at news. I look at price for short time frame trades. And I even shorted Chainlink. I'll go back and share the short trade. But, you know, it's not about being... I'm not not on my I'm not saying that long time frame I am not bullish long time frame I'm really bullish on Chainlink if you see what Chainlink is trying to do it's connecting the real world data to blockchain and this is what we want to see we want to see real world use cases and Chainlink is at the key at the forefront of this revolution so you know I could not be more bullish on Chainlink long time frame so if you long time frame um, I'll share with you a buy zone if Chainlink comes into here, I'm going to accumulate more Chainlink. I could be wrong and it can start breaking down, but I'm very confident if it has a sharp sell-off here, similar to like in March or similar to here, I think there will at least be a you know 50-100% bounce and then we'll see what happens. So I'm going to look to accumulate Chainlink. If you're more of a, you know, most people watching the YouTube channel, I think are more trade, uh, more investors than traders. So if you are a longer term frame trader or an investor, you can look to accumulate there. There's so many coins that are breaking out, you know, newer coins that are starting to move up we want to get in early we don't want to get in late and if coins like this good projects like polka dot chain link if they give you big dips try to accumulate it at huge dips because the risk to reward if you, you know buy at five dollars and it goes to ten dollars you double your money if you buy it at twenty five dollars you'd need it to go to fifty dollars to double your money so it's risk to reward buying at cheap prices is huge and and in my opinion chain link will succeed in the longer time frame 
so that's the triple bottom i feel like the using my trading setups the likelihood of this triple bottom working was higher than this and and the reason why is the market is looking weak the way i tried to trade it was if it got back above there i would have tried looked too long it did not break above it broke down gave us a short setup and hit our first target i personally took the cardano trade with the rockstar trading group i'll share that with you as well watch the cardano video this is not after the fact you know cardano hit hard and if you look too short in you know, this was an Another short trade I shared uh, exactly in the live streams and if you short it take half off and if it carries on dumping uh, you can let it run until one dollar same with chain link if you have shorter chain link uh, around here you take half 75 percent off and if it breaks down amazing you carry on holding your short and you can take profit around ten dollars and you know start buying and accumulating around uh, around these prices that's how i trade it but i don't want to short it at this price so what's the trade setups now if chain link you know starts cleanly breaking below fifteen dollars you can look to take a short setup up. you can use my strategy using fibonacci trend line break and moving average pullback to short that's how i look to trade or make sure you have another strategy but please make sure you have a strategy if you're blindly gambling clicking buys and sells due to emotions or due to someone on youtube or twitter told you to buy or sell you're not going to make money so please make sure you have a setup you can learn our setups you know live stream three to four times a week at uh, courses and all that good stuff you can try this for less than 30 bucks see if this group is for you but please make sure you have a trade setup up for shorter time frame longs i'm not really looking for it if it trend changes above my four hour moving average maybe above you know 16 17 i could look for a trade but i'm not really looking for a small time frame trades i'm rather looking for short if it breaks above twenty dollars start showing strength above it that's when i'll be bullish so that's my price prediction write those levels down at the moment i'm bearish uh, will i short now no for my short setup i need a break below here i look for a short if it pulls back here i might look for another short for me to start going long i want to see chain link above twenty dollars if chain link starts breaking above twenty dollars yes uh, i will be looking for longs i'll make another youtube video try to share with you update and the reason why i'm so be um, bearish on chain link was it was you know you can see it's been in a downtrend uh, it and then the reason why i want to see chain link uh, usd breakdown is because there potentially might be a bounce coming so i want to play that bounce and after that bounce if it starts breaking down again if, if chain link breaks this support zone that will be quite bearish in my opinion last time we held that support zone if chain link's trend changes below that support zone um i i, I would look to accumulate chain link here this support zone which could uh, time with chain link five dollar buys on that i have shared so these are my plans at the moment things might change you know there might be a big news coming up chain link might start pumping or bitcoin could break 30k chain link might dump but these are my plans at the moment let's have a quick look at news a uh, news wise mark cuban cosine could uh, catapult chain link prices higher so chain link oracle so mark is backing an app called d climate and this relies on the chain links oracle you know connecting uh, the data real world data to blockchain so this is quite bullish for Chainlink. Although Mark Cuban uh, got rag pulled in one of the small cap DeFi tokens, he went in and I think that dumped like 98%. So he'll have to take it with a pinch of salt what Mark Cuban is backing. Uh, backing. But Chainlink, I really believe on this. Uh, Bunnycorn set to integrate Chainlink's VRF to secure NFT collectibles. We've already seen uh, NFT being the huge hype, not just with crypto people and crypto traders, with the normal people as well, people that are not into cryptocurrency really. Uh, you know jumping in on the hype so nft vrf getting a market share of the nft world this is bullish as well another reason why i like chaining longer time frame is we can talk about which project is better which has got quicker transactions but the, at the end of the day the most important thing is are there developers developing really good d apps that are going to be used by people in the future that's the the main the only thing i look for when you look at projects in my opinion ethereum is still the leader because more developers are building stuff on ethereum if after smart contracts people start using cardano then great i'll support cardano more but that is the key thing and i'm not a developer myself but i talk to people smarter than me and that's the key thing that they said they are still using ethereum so 
Chainlink offering free blockchain developer training for writing Ethereum based Solidity smart contracts is huge because we want to see apps being built and Chainlink is helping that Chainlink we're seeing real world use cases so longer time frame this is what I look for how many developers are working on a project what is the team like it's not about you know shiny marketing if you want to find good projects like myself you know I found some amazing projects early on if you get in one of these coins you know before one dollar like uni Polkadot, yeah, obviously Chainlink back in 2018. That's the key goal. I've got things wrong as well, but you only need one or two coins uh, going up. So let's say you put a thousand dollars in Chainlink below a dollar, and then it goes to you know ten dollars. You you don't you ten x your money, and you could have you could have put in a thousand dollar in a couple of other coins that went to zero. But one coin you called right. That will make you more money than you can imagine. So I'll end it on that note, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick update on exactly how I'm trading Chainlink, news update and price update. And also explain to you my thoughts on the triple bottom. People just see triple bottom and start buying. But it's not about the triple bottom. It's about what the market is saying. The market... The, this triple bottom is slightly different to other triple bottoms in my opinion. It's not as good as the one that people are saying uh, that caused a huge pump back in late 2019 early 2020 for me to trade these guys i want to see chain link above 20 dollars or at least shorter time frame above 17 dollars if not i'm bearish and if it starts breaking below again i could look to take short setups and one thing i do want to say if you're new please don't try to take shorts you you'll mess it up you know these are some of the short setups we took ada and ltc as a hedge ada th these are two i personally took with the group and i've updated people when i'm taking profits but again please be careful don't try and jump in shorts if you're new look for longs educate yourself and then you know play with li little money play with five hundred thousand dollars if you can start making money then you can start getting into trading because the most important thing i teach when you, if you join my group is first video is not about technical analysis it's not about a fancy indicator it's about risk management and psychology because that is the key to succeeding in this game so thank you very much guys before i end the video what is your thoughts on chain link comment below your price prediction do you like chain link what's your thoughts on chain link long term comment below your price prediction and if you have enjoyed this video guys make sure you hit that like button for more videos like this i don't give make many videos on chain link but if, if there is lots of interest again i'll i'll try and make more videos on chain link share with you my short trade setups as well and i'm planning on doing a live stream where i can do some live trading do all this i mean i, I post all the trades beforehand like when i'm buying when i'm selling but I will be doing a live streaming on YouTube. You can ask me any questions. I'll try and do one free live stream a month on YouTube because it's, it's quite busy doing three to four live streams in the group and trading myself. But I will be doing a live stream in the, the YouTube group. So if you want to uh, get a notification when I'm going live, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button and you'll get notified when I'm going live. So thank you very much. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Go Chainlink!